Hello, Leo. Elsie here to do your reading. It is for the week ahead, my friends. How are you? And thank you for clicking here. Welcome to Fire Day. Thank you so much. And uh, if you are someone who's brand new and you're just tripping over Ten of Cups Tarot, I hope you'll stay. Subscription button is right where it always has been. And uh, if you'd like to subscribe and hit the bell button, you'll know whenever I'm uploading. And if you are the person who is the ride or die, whether you are Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, or you're cross-watching, thank you so much for doing that. Thanks for your thumbs up. Thanks for growing this tribe. I appreciate you so, so much. So we're looking at some oracles this week. We're going to combine them with some tarot. We're going to look at the wisdom of the oracle, and we are going to look at the at the Divine Goddess Oracle deck. Uh, we're going to combine those with tarot. We're going to clarify a little bit, find out what's coming up for you in the week ahead, Leo. Tell me what's coming up for Leo, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. What's coming up for Leo? Leo, whenever you find this reading, whether it's today, tomorrow, or next year, um, it is always going to be for the week ahead. Tell me about Leo, please. Tell me about Leo. We've got chaos and conflict. We've got all that glitters and milk and honey. Wow. Okay, that's quite a contrast of energies here. Bottom of the deck, we have the observer, and that's definitely you, right? You're the one who is, is probably going to watch, listen, um, and uh, before you even decide to take a step forward, you're the person, you're, you're the, the fixed sign that is um, somebody who is, is the observer. You are going to... Uh, watch and uh, quietly possibly depending on your moon and rising always but you're going to to watch and listen and uh, maybe not say anything right away but I feel like somebody here is is about to um Oh, I want to say that you're coming out of some sort of a hermit mode here. It feels like building blocks being in the reverse tells me that you've done the work. You've done enough work for now, and it's time to come out here. So we do have uh, chaos and conflict. I want to say that people in your life, maybe they think you're one thing, but maybe you are another, or possibly that you were trying to be something else to fit in with a group of people that you knew you didn't want to be with, or that it's fe it feels like you had to cover up your zebra stripes here with, um, with the looks like a maybe it's a giraffe kind of maybe you were a zebra hanging out with the giraffe so hoping that you would turn into a giraffe we have card number 33 which is a six and i feel like it's chaos and conflict tells me that you're done you're done trying to be the things you don't want to be anymore <laughs> that's what it feels like here and so i feel like you're in a in a growth pattern threes are about that as well it's about being in um you might be seeing threes, uh, possibly everywhere. Maybe you've got those synchronicities here, but card number 33 does break down to a six, which tells me that I feel like um, you're about to refocus or see something again for the first time. We're looking at, um, we've got violet, like purple here, which is the third eye. I feel that you are somebody who is about to see things for what they really are. And I'm just saying that because all that glitters is here. And you can see here that all that glitters, it's a whole lot of gold, but look, there's a couple of masks there. It feels like everybody is ready to drop the masks. I want to say that there is a tower that's falling. It is card number 16, which is the tower in the tarot. And I feel like it is uh, something that you're about to see that um, you maybe didn't see before. And um, when the tower falls, I do believe that you get some sort of a breakthrough or a realization. We've got all of this, this shining here. I'm not sure if it's the sun or if it's coming off of the gold, but I want to say that Maybe you thought that other people were further ahead than you, or they were better than you, or their life was going better than you. It's all about the filters, right? The Instagram, the Facebook filters. People only post what they want you to see, right? And I feel like um, you thought that maybe everything was glittering over there, but I want to say that there's about to be a tower that's going to fall in the week ahead for you, my friend. And I don't know if the tower is for you. We'll clarify and find out whether it's for you or not. But it feels like you're about to see something clearer than you did before. You're about to see that somebody had a mask on, or maybe you did. Maybe you dropped the mask, but nonetheless, it is leading to milk and honey. I want to say that this feels like it's been sort of a tough cycle, that maybe you have been feeling like not enough or feeling like you weren't doing enough to fit in or feeling like you didn't fit in anywhere. I'm going to say that that, that is about to end here because we do have milk and honey. And we do have a rainbow, right? The rainbows appear, biblically, of course. Um, the rainbows do appear after a hard time. So uh, I feel like you are you are about to... You are about to experience what is at the end of the rainbow, my friend. We have card number 51, which breaks down to a six. And sixes are about refocusing, right? We have a six. We have a seven. One and six is seven here. Sevens are about heaven for me. They are about um, divine intervention. We do see that there is kind of a, a face we can see there. And I want to say that someone's been looking in on you, watching over you. 
Milk and honey is the greatest thing. Cleopatra used to bathe in milk and honey. And back in the day when Cleopatra was around, nobody had nothing. Like, I mean, people were poor, 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 poor all the time, right? And um, the uh, milk and honey energy here is like, it feels like things are about to be, um, I want to say, uh, what's the word? They're about to be delectable. I don't know why I'm saying delectable, but it feels like things are about to be far sweeter than they used to be, I want to say, and that you will have everything that you need. And I feel like it's because you're waiting and watching and not taking action quite yet. It feels like somebody here has uh, been able to uh, reel in or pull back their impulse energy. Yeah, card number 13. It feels like you're waiting for something to come to an end or you're observing something that you're hoping is going to come to an end. Card number 13, right? It's card number 49, but it does break down to a 13. And the 13 is uh, the death energy. It's transformation. Very interesting. We've got Embrace on the bottom of the deck. We're going to throw some tarot here and then we will go and uh, we will put some of these down as well. Let's take a look. Tell me what's coming up for Leo in the week ahead, please. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Leo, if you're interested in a private read, I have pinned a comment to the top of the comments down below, uh, below this video, if you're interested in that. It's quite reasonable. It's far more reasonable than you think it might be. And um, all the information is there. Tell me about what's going on with Leo, please. Tell me about chaos and conflict. I feel like you are you have decided uh, that you are no longer going to pay attention to the chaos and the conflict. I feel like you're about to be authentic. You're about to show all the giraffes that you are actually a zebra. And it is, uh, it's time for you to be who you're going to be, no matter what anybody says. It feels like you're on a path of... Um, of um, <clears throat> Reciprocity. I feel like you're looking for reciprocity. I want to say that the fact that the the whatever this animal is, a zebra, I think is pointing to the past. I feel like this is how you were in the past, but I feel like it's um I feel like when you decide to be authentic, everyone else is allowed to drop their boundaries here because they they are comfortable with you being you so they can be them as well. We do have the four of pentacles. Yeah, it feels like you couldn't really tell people who you were or share who you were or share, you know, it feels like the four of pentacles for me is like not being vulnerable. It's shut off, shut down. I'm not sharing with you. It's miserly energy. And so I feel like you were sort of keeping your cards close to the chest for fear that the giraffes would find out that you were actually a zebra. But I feel like you don't care now. It feels like you're, you're busting out of whatever costume you had on and you're being honest with yourself. Tell me why all the glitter is here please for leo tell me about all the glitters we have the ten of pentacles in the reverse so you are seeing someone something a situation for what it is the ten of pentacles being in the reverse tells me that it's either um, a financial impact or a family is breaking down or um, it feels like a relationship might be over something might be ending here in your pentacle world but it feels like the, the tower is here to show you that whatever you thought the Ten of Pentacles was, I don't think it was that. I feel like we're looking at gold-plated here. We weren't looking at real, we're looking at fool's gold here, gold-plated. People were wearing masks. And finally, when the tower fell, we saw everything for what it was. It's like you, you see somebody who you thought was getting along great in their marriage or their relationship. And it turns out that it wasn't working out. And it could be you, it could be somebody else. We've got uh, card number 51, Milk and Honey. Why do we have that? Milk and Honey, oh, I like it. It's a realization. It's something that you've realized, you've researched, you kind of find out this is the student. I feel like you're open to it. You're open to the knowledge of it. Maybe you couldn't see the rainbow before. Maybe you didn't believe in rainbows, that there would be something really beautiful at the end of the rainbow. It's kind of a fable, and maybe you weren't... You weren't um, really in belief of that, but I feel like you've done your own research to know that milk and honey is available to anybody who reaches out to get it. And I feel like you are reaching out to get it. There's things that are transforming here. We do have the death card. So something is coming to an end so another thing can begin. It's transforming. It never Energy never goes away. It just transforms into something brand new. So I want to say that after the tower falls here, that's probably what we're looking at. So you're about to embrace something here. I think it's change you're about to embrace. Let's find out what else is going on, please, for Leo for the week ahead. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. 
We've got boundaries. I love that. We've got dedication and we have decisions. Uh, bottom of the deck, we have divine timing. I want to say that you're not any further behind or any further ahead than anyone else. You are right where you're supposed to be at the time that you're there. Whatever you're doing right now, clicked here, watching this, this was supposed to happen. You're just following along intuitively. And I feel like you are maybe someone who doesn't maybe believe in divine timing, but I think that lately you've been observing, learning, transforming. That's what it feels like. And so I feel like you are somebody who's about to realize that divine timing is everything. What does that mean for someone who's new, new and doesn't know what that means? Well, that means that nothing happens before it's supposed to happen. So you can complain, you can argue, you can fight, you can throw a tantrum, but whatever is supposed to be coming for you, is not going to come until the exact time in which it's supposed to. And you will get there in the right time because you're always you're always on the right path doing the right thing at the right time. That's what it is. The only way that you can tell if things are not on the right path, if things are not going well, is you're miserable. You're angry. You're the person who gets in the comments and hates on people. Like I feel like it's a it's 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 a it's pretty clear. You're either happy or you're unhappy. There might be a little bit of a gray area where we're back and forth a little bit, but I feel like you know if you're on the right path simply because um, you will know uh, if you're happy, right? All right. Maybe I'm full of it, but that's how I see it. It's my story. I'm sticking to it, Leo. All right, let's find out what's going on here. Tell me about boundaries. So we have boundaries. It says, no one to put up and let down your walls. So I feel like your walls have been up for years. I want to say years. We've got four pentacles here, but we also have 10 pentacles next door. It could be like a 14 or 15 year series of keeping your walls up, keeping everybody out, keeping people at arm's length. I feel like you, you, you put up the boundaries and never put them down. You kept everything to the chest and therefore you excluded yourself from a lot of things. But I feel like in all of that, you felt like you could sort of walk around and disguise yourself as a, as a, as a giraffe among the, the zebras when you should have just come out with it and said, look, I'm a zebra. Are you guys going to let me hang out with you or not? <laughs> We've got the boundaries here. No one to put up and let down your walls. I feel like your walls are up right now, but I want to say that in the coming week, I feel like you are about to break out of whatever it is that you thought you were, you were pretending to be in your life and you were actually becoming authentic. That's what it feels like here. Tell me about Leo. We've got the Six of Pentacles. We have the Emperor. I love it. And the sun. There you are. Look, the sun is shining on the Emperor. I feel like you are about to take control of your life. It feels like it's divine timing. And you're on the precipice of saying, screw all of you. I'm a zebra. I feel like you're about to become authentic, that you've been um, trying to fit in with everyone else's vibration for so long. Maybe it's because you didn't know your own vibration, but I feel like you're about to have a breakthrough, that you are the emperor, that you could always just take control of your life, do what you wanted, but that is going to mean that you're going to lose some of the zebras or some of the some of the, the giraffes in your life, right? You are going to lose people who um, thought you were one way, and now that they see you another, maybe they're going to go away and they're not going to want to be around you. But that is the price of becoming authentic. I promise you, promise you that if you decide to become authentic, be who you are, that you will attract your tribe. So we do have the Six of Pentacles and the Emperor. I feel like the Emperor is about to... Um, about to give reciprocity or is about to get into the energy of reciprocity. And what I mean by that is I feel like you were trying to shrink yourself to fit into a group that you don't belong in because you are the damn emperor. And maybe it's a realization as we see this, this um, zebra losing all of its you know, coding, right? Or it's, it's, um, it's breaking out of this, um, bondage that, that, that it thought it was in having, thinking it was going to have to live its life as a giraffe in order to be able to, um, to be able to fit in. But I think what you've realized that you kind of stick out as a sore thumb, Leo, you're the conqueror. You're the person who conquers whatever you want. You get what you want, right? You are the person who is stable, you're the authority on something. People come to you for advice. Um, people come to you and ask you about business advice. Um, you're highly intuitive. Some of you psychic, but I feel like you've had some sort of a breakthrough that you are actually the emperor. You're, you're not 
uh, someone who you, I, I feel like you were shrinking yourself to fit into a group of people because that's what they were doing and you didn't want to be alone. But I feel like you can no longer be a, a, um, be a giraffe because you are the emperor. You're going to stick out like a sore thumb. The sun is here. I think it's a realization that you're having. I feel this is a growth spurt. This per this this zebra is breaking out, right? It's a breakout. I feel like somebody is, is decided that I'm just going to be who I'm going to be and I don't care what people, because a lot of people will demonize the emperor. I don't know if you've ever watch tarot on the other on some on the platform some people sort of demonize the emperor right they they demonize the emperor and say that person is horrible and awful and they're really hard to get along with and i don't think it is i i think that the emperor demands respect i feel like the emperor's been through a lot he knows all of the lessons of all the kings he's gained a lot of wisdom he's worked to get to where he's he is right now i say he because there's a man on the on the card but please understand i'm not reading uh, body parts here i am reading uh, energies right so the energy of the emperor is someone who's fearless, someone who's a leader, someone who has the answers, someone who is, you know, this person is running the empire and and that means all of the kingdoms. Um, so I feel like you're fearless and now you're realizing with the sun present here, you're realizing who you really are and now you're going to be giving people um, reciprocity based on the emperor's criteria, not based on whether you want to fit into their group. Now, it's like you used to walk into a room and wonder where you fit in. I feel like now you walk into the room and shift the energy and you wonder, I don't need, do I even want to sit with these people? Like, I feel like you now have um, emperored up. That's what it feels like here. Tell me about dedication here. Stay dedicated to your goals, efforts that will reap success, it says here. So I want to say that just because because somebody else's relationship is falling apart it doesn't mean that yours will but definitely the ten of pentacles could mean that there is something here that you thought was going to last forever or was long term and now it's over it's not it's no longer viable or not as valuable as you thought it was we do have the page of wands we have the high priestess and the queen of wands i feel like there is somebody here um that i feel that you um, are very attracted to somebody who's who made you feel probably the most desired you've ever felt before feminine or masculine this person is someone you feel like you have kind of a psychic connection to you're connected to them in a way that you're not connected to anybody else the page of wands tells me that you have had some passionate times with this person that there has been passion you've gone on new um exciting passionate um uh, pa paths with them i want to say i feel like this person is um, someone who's no longer in your life or maybe it's ended with that person and it, the the dedication part of it here is like even though the tow tower has fallen I feel like the tower has fallen because you saw the queen of wands for who they really were and maybe they were someone who was only interested in your fire maybe they were someone who was not interested in the ten of pentacles or maybe you weren't maybe this queen of wands wanted the ten of pentacles with you and you just weren't interested but I feel like it says you know it says here um, dedication it says stay dedicated to your goals your efforts will reap success so whatever it is Leo that you want from your life for you that's what you should be dedicating yourself to I feel like you still have this connection to the Queen of Wands and I feel like it's like something that you can't let go of that's what it feels like that this person's got you sort of imprisoned in their energy but I want to say the page of Wands tells me that um, it's because it's really exciting to be with them but I really do feel like the tower came down and you really saw this person for who they are and maybe maybe the tower fell and this person saw you for who you were what i think it is all, overall with this tower falling is one of you is very independent doesn't want to be tied down isn't interested in being in a relationship isn't interested in building 10 pentacles this person is doing their own thing and they're coloring outside the lines they're sort of um taking risks right um and maybe that's just not not was appealing to you i feel like there was sort of a a passionate relationship here it was based in fire but i think that you thought that maybe or they thought that you would settle down or you thought that they would settle down and it just didn't work out that way so i think that the tower had to fall so the masks could fall there's two of them there right so i think that the tower had to fall so you two could see each other for who you really were one of you um i feel just isn't interested in settling down that you want to stay on this page of wands path and i'm i'm, I'm not saying anything about that i don't have a horse in the race you do what you want to do to make yourself happy but i do feel that there is a queen of wands here aries sagittarius leo this person is someone that you can't disconnect from that's the thing so we've got decisions that brings us the um 
the hanged man energy here, decisions, the need to gain clarity through decision making. So it does really feel like you're trying to get a different perspective on something in the week ahead here. Um, that's Piscean energy. We've got uh, the Ten of Pentacles is now in the upright and the Magician. Look, maybe somebody just needed time to think it over. Maybe that's what it is. Or maybe the illusion was the Ten of Pentacles. So I feel like with this, this energy here of... Break here. Decisions. The need to gain clarity through, making, through decision making. And that's what this is, right? Gaining clarity, learning about it. What is it that you want? What is it that you don't want? Maybe it's time to speak up and be a little more honest about what it is that you actually want. It, it feels like you've been watching somebody here. It feels like you're about to make a decision about um, moving forward to a happier place, I want to say. It is card number six. It is the lovers. It feels like something's about to transform and that you've been watching somebody possibly waiting to make a decision, trying to gain clarity about what someone is doing. Are they with someone? You know, it feels like this didn't work out because it was just based in fire. But once the tower fell, it feels like you became authentic. I want to say that you know that you're the emperor. You know that you um, are interested in pursuing. You've had this breakthrough or a realization. And it feels like you've grown. I feel want to say with the sun here that you've grown personally, professionally, spiritually. So I, I do feel like a decision that you're making is the person that you're watching. You're probably going to go get them, but I feel like right now you're trying to find perspective on that. It feels like you're asking the universe for some help, that you're saying, look, bring me, bring me to what I need, lead me there, or bring it to me, one of the two. But it feels like you are um, sort of... Uh, yeah, I feel like you're waiting here. You're you're waiting here to make a decision. So you're not making that decision in the week ahead. We do have the Magician and we have the Ten of Pentacles. It tells me that you think that the Ten of Pentacles is an illusion, that you feel like maybe maybe this Ten of Pentacles in the reverse was you saying to the Queen, look, I'm not, I'm not into settling down. I feel like you think that maybe the illusion is that there is something long term. I want to say that this is... This is telling me here that the um, Milk and Honey in card number 51, which breaks down to a six... And that there is somebody here that I feel that you are very interested in, in the, um, in the uh, time ahead, I think in the week ahead, or maybe even further to that. And I feel like you're watching someone, sort of studying them, trying to make a decision about what you want to do. I think you're about to transform something based on your observations. Tell me about what is, um, what is the outcome here, please. For Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, what's the outcome here for the week ahead? <coughs> We do have the Two of Swords, we have the Three of Pentacles, and we have the uh, Three of Wands. So we do have a couple of threes. Look at this. We have three, 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 three. So I feel like it is growth that we're talking about here. It's growth. It feels like you are about to go on some sort of a different path here. There is... Um, yeah, it does feel like it's it's something is about to change because it feels like you, you've you watched long enough. Now, I feel like the person that you're watching is somebody that you would consider a friend or someone that you already know in the pentacle world, somebody that you already, um, you would consider them your friend, right? If, if somebody would say, do you know so-and-so? You'd say, yeah, that's my friend. I know that person. I feel like with the three of pentacles here, it's telling me that somebody has either blocked you or you've blocked yourself from the friend. But it also tells me here that there is something that you are failing to see, that maybe this person might be somebody that you are interested in using your tools on, right? The Magician all has all of the aces and we don't have any aces here yet. So it feels like you're holding them in your hand, waiting. What is the ace that I want to use? The Pentacles, the Swords, the Wands, or the or the um, Swords, right? So I feel like with the Two of Swords here, that you're scared to get hurt. And it might be why you, you usually get to this place where it's going great, it's very passionate, we have this good connection, and then boom, you're out, right, with the Page of Wands. It feels like you get sort of weirded out, or it's like, no, I, I really don't want to do that. Um, and then... Um, it's maybe, I feel like you don't have a belief in the Ten Pentacles, that you don't think it can be yours, I'm going to say. You're very early, you're very new in being authentic, but I feel like you are watching somebody here. That's what it does feel like. I feel like once you are done your watching here, the Three of Wands here tells me that you're not going to wait any longer, that you're going to take the Ace of Wands and you're going to go. The Ace of Wands is in the hand of the page, so I feel like whoever you're watching online is somebody that you're quite infatuated with or quite um, attracted to. I'd say take your time. Divine timing is always a thing, right? Just want to look at this here. We do have, uh, again, we have the Two of Swords at the bottom of the deck, but we have the Observer, and I feel like you are 
waiting for something to change or transform before you move ahead here. You want victory. That's what it is. So you are the emperor. You are truly the emperor because if, the emperor will never ever wait. Like the emperor will wait, rather wait than go in on something that they think that they're not going to win at. The emperor is not going to take a chance to lose. The emperor can't be risking it all just for love or for a relationship. So I feel like you are the emperor. And the fact that the... Um, Six of Wands is here is telling me that it's a little bit of ego and uh, that you, I want to say that you're, this is Leo, this is your beautiful, people are looking at you, you get a lot of attention, but also I feel like you're ready to step across the finish line with the lover, right? We have six, we're talking about the lover and it shows up here. Five of Pentacles tells me that you two have been apart for too long or long enough and it's about time for you to reconnect here. There's the Ace of Wands that is in the hand of the person on the Three of Wands and then we have the new the new path here. I feel like you're about to take a leap of faith into something quite passionate and exciting. All right, I'm going to leave that there. Thank you so much for being here and watching. I do appreciate you. I'm going to go for now. I'll be back because I'm always back, Leo. Thanks. Bye-bye.